Hi there, so here's a video of my castle. As you can see, it's on a mountain and it, it's kind of a cool shape. It, overall, it's a square, but the actual thing is it's like a square with a chunk kind of out of it. Yeah, I ignore my awkward bridge. And as you can see, this castle is built on a mountain. There's a bridge that connects the two mountains to, con to the entrance. And here's the entrance, like a little tower, some emerald blocks. I didn't do much with the interior, but here's the master's bedroom. Kind of big for a bedroom, but pretty simple. Um, lots of windows, as you can see. There's the bed. Here's a couch I made. Pretty simple. Nice view of some uh, Japanese castle based off of Tuvaz's original design. This is the treasury. Um, I mean, it's a castle, so I expect them to have a lot of cool stuff. Emeralds, diamonds, you know, glowstone. I think that stuff is pretty legit, so why not? Um... I don't know, I have an egg. Anyways, um, this here's the powder room. It's a fancy word for a bathroom, in case you're not aware. Sort of a sink kind of thing going on. And this is a bath. And there's sort of a view of the garden, which we'll see next. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get in the bath, but I'm not too good at designing bathtubs, so I don't really care right now. Um, most of it is made out of cobblestone and wood. And there's some stone brick things. This is the enchanting room. It's an inside another tower and here's a little view of the garden as well. Um, I did something cool with the water underground with some glowstone. I thought it added a cool effect. I mean it is an enchanting room. I used sort of the potiony things and all that stuff that adds the sort of purple sparkles that are going around. I always think that's cool. Here's the bed. Some more nice views. Kind of foggy though because it's high up. You've, you have to consider that. Um, there's a grand entrance, uh, as you can see, and here is um, the garden. Uh, there's a small, like, half tower thing there. Um, yeah, I made it kind of cool. I did some research, and normally things are very, um, how do you say, like, even. And uh, I actually created this sort of extra hang here so that it would be a perfect square. It looks a little bit awkward, but I don't really care. Um, so half slabs to make it nice to walk up. Um, here is a ginormous couch with a very large chandelier. I used this circle arch idea to create sort of a hidden library uh, with a big window over here. I thought that's very cool. It's a little bit Asian though. We have two guest suites on the two towers. They're very small but um, you know it has a little bit of a library there. But um, they're very simple. I used the paintings I'm using Doku Craft, by the way. I think this is the high. Yeah. Um, I use the paintings to add a cool effect. There's some stairs that go up. I personally don't like the way I did my stairs, but I was a little bit lazy. Um, there isn't a very great view unless you start flying. And as you can see, um, this whole castle is built on a mountain. So it's cool. What I did was use fences to show that it's built on a mountain instead of just flattening it out. It has sort of an interesting effect, although it does make the castle look a little bit like short, if that makes any sense. You can also make the towers a little bit large, uh, taller, I mean, but uh, that's all personal. I probably should have done that, but whatever. Here's some more fencing. Overall, it's very interesting. Uh, built on a tower, just uh, built on a mountain, I mean, just as a natural castle would have been built. As you can see, the bottom and sort of the edges of the castle are used with stone bricks instead of just the cobblestone, and here's my awkward unfinished bridge still, and um, yeah, that's that's sort of it. Um, I'll make a tutorial soon, and for now, here's the bridge that connects to the other mountain. If, yeah, I'll probably add that in also. Thank you, and hopefully you'll like the uh, tutorials and previews that my new channel will have to offer.